In South Florida tonight, there is jubilation. Thousands of Cuban Americans taking to the streets after the passing of the dictator, who sent more than a million of his own people into exile, separating families and denying them the right to return. Tonight, it is giving many of them hope that change will come. I was in Miami last night, one young woman telling me that her grandmother was celebrating the news, saying they can now hope they will be able to visit their loved ones who are still here in Cuba. ABC's Gio Benitez with many of those families in Miami tonight. Tonight, the sounds of celebration in Little Havana. Shouts of freedom from Cuban exiles and their descendants. A three-day party, young and old, banging pots, pans, celebratory cigars, and champagne uncorked in the hope of a free Cuba. I'm not happy because somebody died. I'm, I, I, death, it's not about that. It's about that we see the future changing. Oh. Cubans in Miami consider the Castro family a reign of terror, one still in power. Raul Castro has things in place. The repression continues. The lack of freedom continues. Um, and uh, so, no, it won't be an overnight thing at all. Castro's death has exiles reflecting. Miami-Dade Commissioner Rebecca Sosa was just eight years old when she fled Cuba. Her mother and father political prisoners. She remembers waving goodbye to her dad. What was going through your mind during that moment? I mean, you were so young. That is what hurt so much. When, when I felt that I was not going to see him anymore, that was very hard, and I was very small. Her father got out of the Cuban prison and got her this champagne bottle with a clear message. Open only when Fidel dies. And Gio Benitez is with us live tonight from Little Havana in Florida. And Gio, you've heard from so many families there. Uh, you've witnessed the jubilation yourself, but what is their main hope moving forward? Well, David, they just want to see a free Cuba. They don't want to move back to the island. America is home, David. Gio Benitez with us tonight. Gio, thank you.